to bet, but it is a little bit too out. I haven't put my money in, but if I had to make a three-team parlay right now for the seven games going down on August 27th, uh, here it is for you guys listening. So, I mean, if you were just dying to get some scratch on the books and you want to get in a nice quick three-team parlay, I think the best parlay out there for day one is Northwestern getting 12 and a half traveling to Lincoln, Nebraska to take on the Cornhuskers. All right, so I know it's tough to play in Lincoln and yada, 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 but I don't think that's actually been relevant for about the past two decades. You know, I think since the Eric Crouch days. Um, Adrian Martinez was supposed to be that guy, never was that guy. Scott Frost was supposed to be the guy, still couldn't do it with the guy, Adrian Martinez. Um, now they got Casey Thompson. Uh, he's a He's a recruit transfer from uh, Texas, and uh, he's good. He's a formidable quarterback. He played a lot of he played a lot of games for Texas last year. Blew out the shitty teams and lost to the good teams, which sounds all like Nebraska. That's what Nebraska does. Um, so I'm just not a believer in Scott Frost. I'm not a believer in Nebraska being back with this transfer quarterback at the helm. Um, but what I am a believer in is Northwestern's ability to play defense under Pat Fitzgerald. So I'm not saying that they're going to win outright, but I think 12 and a half is way too much chalk for uh, Nebraska to be laying down on opening week. I just don't see it happening. I don't see them winning by two touchdowns. So I'm going Northwestern. Give me the points. 12 and a half. Uh, next this three team parlay is Illinois minus 10 and a half. Okay. Playing at home, Illinois is going to be tough, right? They're going to be a tough out at home in Illinois for Wyoming. Now, Wyoming will be up for the test. They're a grinded out, tough kind of team. They got a lot of, they got a lot of tough cowboys on that Wyoming team. All right. So yeah, I got two stud running backs coming back in McCray and Brown. I love them. If you didn't watch Illinois play football last year, they can run the rock and they run hard. I mean, they run really hard. And now they got Tommy DeVito, man in the helm. He's a talented quarterback. Maybe you guys remember him, uh, from his, uh, Syracuse and Boston College days, but the kid can play. So he's experienced. He can play. Um, so I really like Illinois this year. Actually, has a little bit of a sleeper in the Big Ten. Um, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be watching a lot of Illinois uh, fighting Illini games this year. I think that they're gonna have a lot of favorable spreads until they get figured out. Uh, so I'm going Illinois, given ten and a half. Um, I think they'll pull away in the second. Hawaii half. and Vanderbilt, and I'm going with the over. All right, over 55. So it's set dead at 55, so you don't have that halving to a half of a point. <laughs> that's that's the thing that kills me. It kills any better. You know, it's on bad beats all the time. Um, so I'm glad that there's no half right there right now. I like the over of 55. Um, I don't have much faith in Hawaii's D. Um, or seeing them keep Vandy under 40. So I think Vandy, I think Vandy goes up for, for about 35 to 42 points. And I definitely don't have any faith in Vandy keeping Hawaii under four scores. Um, Hawaii is a tough place to travel to. I think the defense will show a little bit signs of jet lag. I think they'll give up maybe 28, 31 points. Um, but I think the offensive firepower, not that Vanderbilt is some high powered offense, but they are SEC team with SEC recruits and back in the fourth quarter counting our cash. And that's your J Sills three team way too early parlay for August 27th, baby. College football, it's coming back. Can't wait.